ಚಂದ್ರ ಜಯ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಜಯ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಜಯ ದ್ವೇತ ಚಂದ್ರ ಜಯ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ Hare Krishna So today is a special day appearance of Lord Nityananda and uh, we will be reading from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita discussing some of the past times understanding Lord Nityananda his glories and how he extends his mercy to all living entities So this is a verse from Madhya Leela chapter 16 the lord's attempt to go to vrindavan in text 65 we'll just chant this and and we can share some past times taha siddhi kare he na anne na dekhiye ಅಮರ ದುಷ್ಕರ ಕರ್ಮ ತೋಮ ಹೈತೆ ಹೈ ತಿದ್ಧಿ ಕರೆ ನೇ ನೇಖಿಯೇ ಅಮರ ದುಷ್ಕರ ಕರ್ಮ ತೋಮ ಹೈತೆ ಹೈ ತಹಾ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಕರೆ ನೇ ನೇಖಿಯೇ ಅಮರ ದುಷ್ಕರ ಕರ್ಮ ತೋಮ ಹೈತೆ ಹೈ ತಹಾ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಕರೆ ನೇ ನೇಖಿಯೇ ಅಮರ ದುಷ್ಕರ ಕರ್ಮ ತೋಮ ಹೈತೆ ಹೈ ತಹಾ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಕರೆ ನೇ ನೇಖಿಯೇ ಅಮರ ದುಷ್ಕರ ಕರ್ಮ ತೋಮ ಹೈತೆ ಹೈ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ತಹ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಕರೆ ನೇ ನೇಖಿಯೇ ಅಮರ ದುಷ್ಕರ ಕರ್ಮ ತೋಮ ಹೈತೆ ಹೈ ತಹ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಕರೆ ನೇ ನೇಖಿಯೇ ಅಮರ ದುಷ್ಕರ ಕರ್ಮ ತೋಮ ಐತೆ ಐನಿಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಅಬೆ ಚರ್ನ ಅರವಿಂದ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಶಿಲ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಕಿ translation Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu continued You can perform a task that even I cannot do but for you I cannot find anyone in Godadesh who can fulfill my mission there purport Lord Chaitanya's mission is to deliver the fallen souls of this age in this age of kali practically 100% of the population is fallen shri chaitanya mahaprabhu certainly delivered many fallen souls but his disciples mainly came from the upper classes 
For example, he delivered Srila Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, Sarvabhom Bhattacharya, and many others who were socially elevated but fallen from the spiritual point of view. Srila Rupa and Sanatana Goswamis were situated in government service, and Sarvabhom Bhattacharya was the topmost scholar of India. Similarly, Prakashananda Saraswati was a leader of many thousands of Mayavadi sannyasis. It was Srila Nityananda Prabhu, however, who delivered persons like Jagai and Madai. Therefore, Lord Chaitanya says, Amara Dushkara Karma Toma Haite Hai. Jagai and Madai were delivered solely by Nityananda Prabhu's mercy. When they injured Nityananda Prabhu, Lord Chaitanya became angry and decided to kill them with his Sudarshan Chakra. But Nityananda Prabhu saved them from the Lord's wrath and delivered them. In the incarnation of Goranitai, the Lord is not supposed to kill demons but is supposed to deliver them by preaching Krishna consciousness. In the case of Jagai and Madai, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so angry that he would have immediately killed them. But Nityananda Prabhu was so kind that he not only saved them from death, but elevated them to the transcendental position. Thus, what was not possible for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was carried out by Nityananda Prabhu. Similarly, if one is true to Gora Nitai's service in the disciplic succession, he can even excel Nityananda Prabhu's service. This is the process of disciplic succession. Nityananda Prabhu delivered Jagai and Madai. But a servant of Nityananda Prabhu, by his grace, can deliver many thousands of Jagais and Madais. That is the special benediction of the disciplic succession. One who is situated in the disciplic succession can be understood by the result of his activities. This is always true as far as the associates of the Lord and his devotees are concerned. Therefore, Lord Shiva says, Aradhanam Sarvesham Vishnur Aradhanam Param Tasmat Parataram Devi Tadiyanam Samarchanam Of all types of worship, worship of Lord Vishnu is best and better then the worship of Lord Vishnu is the worship of his devotee, the Vaishnava, Padma Purana. By the grace of Vishnu, a Vaishnava can render better service than Vishnu. That is the special prerogative of a Vaishnava. The Lord actually wants to see his servants work more gloriously than himself. For instance, on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, Sri Krishna provoked Arjuna to fight because all the warriors on the battlefield were to die by Krishna's plan. Krishna himself did not want to take credit, rather he wanted Arjuna to take credit. Therefore, he asked him to fight and win fame. Therefore, get up, prepare to fight and win glory. Conquer your enemies and enjoy a flourishing kingdom. They are already put to death by my arrangement and you, O Savya Sachi can be but an instrument in the fight. Bhagavad Gita 11.33 Thus the Supreme Personality of Godhead gives credit to a devotee who performs any heavy task 
perfectly. Hanuman ji or Vajrang ji, the servant of Lord Ramachandra, serves as another example. It was Hanuman who jumped over the sea in one leap and reached the shore of Lanka from the shore of Bharat Varsha. When Lord Ramachandra chose to go there, he paved the way with stones, although by his will the stones were able to float on the sea. If we simply follow Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's instructions and follow in the footsteps of Sri Nityananda Prabhu, this Krishna consciousness movement can advance and even more difficult tasks can be performed by the preachers remaining faithful to the service of the Lord. Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmaya Shri Gurve Nama Shri Chaitanya Mano Bishtam Sapitam Yena Bhutali Swayam Rupakadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Vancha Kalpa Tarubhyascha, Kripa Sindhu Bhaya Evacha, Patita Nam Pavane Bhaya, Vaishnavi Bhaya, Namo Nama. Vande Anantad Bhuteshwaryam, Sri Nityananda Ishwaram, Yashya Chaya Tat Surupam, Agyanapi Nirupyate. Hare Krishna. So there are so many things to say about Lord Nityananda. I selected a few that I would try to share uh, within some time that we have been given. A uh, couple of important points that I found interesting were uh, one is about how to understand Lord Nityananda and how close he is with Lord Chaitanya. And another is how Lord, Lord Chaitanya, how merciful he is and how Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, he says, he actually, he is so mad in love of Krishna, he doesn't see who he is giving to. He doesn't consider anyone's qualifications. And he just gives without any consideration whether this person is qualified or not. So, a um, couple of pastimes that I chose that are relevant to some of these points, we can discuss. But here in this one, we can see how Lord Chaitanya, he is, this is happening in Jagannath Puri actually. The devotees from Bengal, they would visit Jagannath Puri. And Lord Chaitanya, he is actually requesting Lord Nityananda to not to go to Jagannath Puri every year. So this is how he is making a request to Lord Nityananda. Nityananda kahe Prabhu suna Shri Pad e ami magi tumi karaha prasad. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then told Nityananda Prabhu, Please hear me, O holy man. I now request something of you. Kindly grant my request. Pratiwarsha nila chale tumina asiba gode rahi mora icha safal kariba. Do not come to Jagannath Puri every year, but stay in Bengal and fulfill my desire. What is the desire? We discussed in this verse. So Lord, Lord Chaitanya, he is considering Lord Nityananda more powerful than himself. 
so we can understand how intimately they are connected to each other and uh, we can see how Lord Nityananda responds to Lord Chaitanya making these claims, these statements about glories of Nityananda Prabhu. Nityananda kahe ami deha tumi prana deha prana binna nahe eta pramana. Nityananda Prabhu replied, O Lord, you are the life and I am the body. There is no difference between the body and life itself. But life is more important than the body. So they have these kind of dealings, exchanging these kind of intimate feelings. And uh, many times some of these exchanges, they are not easy to understand for even many of the associates of Lord Chaitanya. Like we can, we know how Lord Nityananda is also known as Nityananda Swarup and that's the name of a Brahmachari but Lord Nityananda he doesn't live like a Brahmachari he has two wives he has one son and he's also known as Avadut so Avadut is someone very special some special occurrence in Vedic culture. Now we can see how Lord Chaitanya, he was uh, showing by his example uh, how to be a strict sannyasi, following all the Vedic codes. And many of the devotees, many of the associates of Lord Chaitanya, often they wouldn't appreciate Lord Chaitanya being so strict, performing so many austerities. So it would, it would even like make it difficult for the devotees to see Lord Chaitanya performing such strict austerities. And within heart, even Lord Chaitanya knows it, but still he is following these strict uh, principles to set an example for people, common people to follow. But Nityananda Prabhu, he, he also had his own views about why should Lord Chaitanya not follow these principles. So one of the pastimes that comes to me is uh, Danda Banga Leela. So Lord Chaitanya on the way, uh, at one point, Lord Nityananda had the uh, danda Lord Chaitanya was carrying. So the sannyasis, there are four stages of sannyas. And uh, in the beginning stage, the sannyasis carries this stick. Lord, Ch Lord Nityananda, what he did is, when he had the stick on the way, he broke it. And he actually threw it in a river. So then, when Lord Chaitanya came to external consciousness, he asked for his stick. He's like, where is my danda? And he found out that Lord Nityananda broke it. So, Lord Nityananda, he, he broke it because he is thinking that he is Mahaprabhu. He is Krishna himself and he does not have to follow all these Vedic rules and stuff because by all the Vedas one should understand Krishna. So Krishna is beyond all these rules and regulations. So Lord Chaitanya does not need to carry a danda. He is already beyond Paramahamsa. So why does he need to carry a danda? That was one of his reasons. He broke it. but. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, he gives a, a, an interesting argument or an interesting response that Lord Nityananda made to Lord Chaitanya, which is kind of humorous also. He said, well, what happened to your danda when 
the kirtan was quite ecstatic we both fell on the danda and it broke down and i don't know where the pieces have gone so this was one of the response i heard in chaitanya bhagavat there is another response also um but we'll just stick to this since we are reading from chaitanya charitamrita so this is how sometimes even lord chaitanya's associates would not understand like who is this nityananda how his activities they are not so easy to understand often and uh, many times they would they would even approach lord chaitanya that where is this lord nityananda at we don't understand his activities so lord chaitanya would explain but a easy way to understand lord nityananda is by understanding lord balaram he see how krishna and balaram so balaram there is no not much difference between krishna and balaram krishna's body is said to be dark color and like a, like a rain cloud ganesham and then lord balaram is white that's the only difference apparently that's mentioned in the scriptures and then lord krishna he wears yellow garments and balaram he wears blue garments so here lord nityananda he is apparently he is also a sanyasi avdut and what he wears he doesn't carry a danda himself he carries a steel rod with him and many times he was seen he had like a bigul uh, and um, the buffalo horn the cowherd boys would carry so and he would wear like very high quality silk cloth he would wear jewels he would wear pearls so lord nityananda was like okay lord chaitanya is teaching by being a strict follower of vedic principles and i will teach by showing opulence because many people they are not attracted to just seeing people live very simply there are many people they want to see opulence so lord nityananda was like okay you see you want to see opulence you can see me so uh, that's why lord nityananda many things he would do differently than lord chaitanya and to understand that one if one does not understand lord krishna and lord balram and their intimate dealings it becomes very difficult to understand lord nityananda so um another past time that i can think of is when lord nityananda he shows his mercy to the author of chaitanya charitamrita krishna das kaviraj goswami what had happened is one of the disciples of lord nityananda meena ketana ramdas he was invited to a a, a festival a kirtan and there he he noticed um brother of krishna das kaviraj goswami uh, he noticed that he did not have much appreciation for lord nityananda as much as he had for lord chaitanya uh, krishna das kaviraj goswami explains like he had a very like a abhas very dim appreciation for lord nityananda but he had great faith in lord chaitanya so krishna das kaviraj goswami tells him that instead of being like this rather be an atheist one would say this is a very harsh statement but because he could not understand this intimacy of lord nityananda and lord chaitanya their their relationship therefore he did not have similar kind of appreciation for glories of lord nityananda prabhu and as a reason of that it is mentioned that 
he fell down from his spiritual position. But Lord Nityananda, he noticed Kaviraj Goswami chastise his brother in that way. And he appeared to him in a dream. So I'm going to read how he looked, how he appeared, how he was dressed, decorated. There's a very beautiful description. And that way we can understand, any sane person would understand, it's not just like imagination. Someone actually had this experience. So, I'll just read a few verses. That, the, that night, Lord Nityananda appeared to me in a dream because of my good quality in chastising my brother. I fell at his feet, offering my obeisances, and he then placed his own lotus feet upon my head. Here it is. Utha utha bali more bale bar bar uthi tare rupa dekhi hai nu chamatkar. Arise, get up, he told me again and again. Upon rising, I was greatly astonished to see his beauty. Shama chikana kanti prakanda sharira sakshat kandarpai aiche mahamalla veera. He had a glossy blackish complexion and his tall, strong, heroic stature made him seem like Cupid himself. Suvalita hastapada kamala nayana. Patta Vastra Sire Patta Vastra Paridhana He had beautifully formed hands, arms and legs and eyes like lotus flowers. He wore a silk cloth with a silk turban on his head. Suvarna Kundala Karne Suvarna Angad Vala Payate Nupur Baje Kante Pushpamala. He wore golden earrings on his ears and golden armlets and bangles. He wore tinkling anklets on his feet and a garland of flowers around his neck. Chandana Lepita Anga Tilaka Sutama Mata Gajajini Mada Mantara Payana. His body was, was anointed with sandalwood pulp and he was nicely decorated with tilaka. His movements surpassed those of a mad elephant. Koti Chandra Jini Mukha Ujwala Varana Dadimba Bijasama Danta Tambula Charvana his face was more beautiful than millions upon millions of moons and his teeth were like pomegranate seeds because of his chewing beetle. Premamata anga dahine va Premamata anga dahine vame dole Krishna Krishna bali ya gambhira bola bale His body moved to and fro, right and left for he was absorbed in ecstasy. He chanted, Krishna, Krishna, in a deep voice. Rangayasti haste dole yena matta simma chari pase vedi ache charanete bringa. His red stick moving in his hand, he seemed like a maddened lion. All around the four sides of his feet, were bumblebees. 
परिषद गण देखी सब गोप वेशे कृष्णा कृष्णा कहे सबे सप्रेम आवेशे His devotees dressed like cowherd boys <clears throat> surrounded his feet like so many bees and also chanted Krishna Krishna absorbed in ecstatic love <clears throat> excuse me singa vamsi bajaye ke ha ke ha nache gaye sevak yo gaya tambula chamara dulaye some of them played horns and flutes and others danced and sang some of them offered betel nuts and others waved chamara fans about him nityananda swarupera dekhi ave bhava ki barup guna leela alokika sabha thus i saw such opulence in lord nityananda swarup his wonderful form qualities and pastimes are all transcendental anande vival ami kichu nahi jani tabe hasi prabhu mere more kahi lena vani i was overwhelmed with transcendental ecstasy not knowing anything else then lord nitananda smiled and spoke to me as follows are are krishna das na kara ha bhaya vrindavane yaha ta ha sarva labhya haya oh my dear krishna das do not be afraid go to vrindavan for there you will attain all things eta bali prerila more हत सानी दिया अंतर्धान केला प्रभु निज गन लाया आफ्टर सेइंग दिस ही डायरेक्टेड मी टुवर्ड वृंदावन बाय वेविंग हिज हैंड देन ही डिसअपियर्ड विद हिज एसोसिएट्स मूर्छिता है या मोई पड़ी नु भूमि ते स्वप्न भंगा हैला देखी आया छे प्रभाते आई फेंटेड and fell to the ground my dream broke and when i regained consciousness i saw that morning had come ki dekhi nu ki suni nu kari e vichar prabhu agya hela vrindavane yae bar i thought about what i had seen and heard and concluded that the lord had ordered me to proceed to vrindavan at once sekshane vrindavane kari mugaman prabhu ra kripate sukhe i nu vrindavan that very second i started for vrindavan and by his mercy i reached there in great happiness jaya jaya nityananda nityananda ram yahara kripate painu vrindavan dham all glory all glory to lord nityananda balaram by whose mercy i have attained shelter in the transcendental abode of vrindavan jaya jaya nityananda jaya kripa maya yaha haite painu rupa sanatan ashraya so like that krishna das kaviraj go swami goes on saying how he he went to vrindavan and how he attained great association of rupa goswami sanatan goswami many other devotees exalted devotees who were living there and uh, he he got uh, his deities madan mohan and shri shri radha govinda so he is he is saying how he attained so much mercy by mercy of lord nityananda and we can understand how krishna das kaviraj goswami he was already over 80 years old when he went to vrindavan and his health wasn't any great either 
and he actually his his hands would shake and he was thinking because he was given this order to write this text chaitanya charitamrita and he is thinking to himself how is that possible how can i do such a work where i am even i don't know i can die any moment so how can i do such a great task uh, ordinarily one would not be able to do that but because here we see how lord nityananda was saying you will attain everything in vrindavan so krishna das kaviraj goswami he attained great association he uh, he was able to write such a great work about glories of lord chaitanya lord nityananda and um we see by his mercy by mercy of lord nityananda we also have access to such great works and we can see in our in our own life many there we have many prabhupad disciples who had personal association of shila prabhupad shila prabhupad in the purport we were reading earlier he says said uh, a servant of vishnu can even do more service than vishnu and in other place he mentioned that a servant of the lord lord nityananda can even excel the service lord nityananda could do so shila prabhupad is also very humble he doesn't mention his name but we can see by his mercy we have access to all these uh, great transcendental mercy that is flowing by mercy of lord chaitanya and lord nityananda so on this day one thing i heard by my spiritual master what he does uh, on nityananda appearance he asks the devotees to to make a list of all the obstacles all the challenges that are there why one cannot practice krishna consciousness or why one cannot do service so this day uh, we all can do that uh, especially those who want to do it and um, but then he said you know we can acknowledge all those challenges all these all those obstacles but then you can also crush them and throw them away because on this day one can approach lord nityananda who helps people overcome all these obstacles all these challenges and we can see that pretty evident in example of krishna das kaviraj goswami because he was already so old no strength and he could die any moment i don't see any person sitting here of course one can die any moment but still like most of us we have good health and uh so this day we can approach lord nityananda and beg him for his for his mercy to to do what he has done we cannot imitate lord nityananda we cannot imitate shila prabhupad but we can definitely do more than what we are able to do now and by receiving mercy from lord nityananda we can do even more so this is a great day to do this kind of exercise and uh then one can experience all this because without doing this also is not possible to experience it krishna das kaviraj goswami after he was instructed to go to vrindavan he didn't just think oh it's just a dream you know i don't know if how true this dream is it was just a dream 
I don't know how many of you had dream uh, of your spiritual master or Krishna or you know some personality like this and uh, one can think what what one did after having a dream like that but we can remember Srila Prabhupada what he did having a dream like that he would be it would be like a nightmare for him Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur would come in his dream come on it's time to go and Prabhupada is telling his god brother this is scary I, how, how can I do this how can I do this so Srila Prabhupada also was experiencing similar situation but we, we know what he was able to do so all these things they are possible but they are only possible when one takes shelter of lotus feet of Lord Nityananda because uh, his lotus feet are for real there is this song um, Narottam Das Thakur sings I think it's, yes you know the words where he says lotus feet of Lord Nityananda are a fact so here Nitai Charana Sat Nitai Charana Satya Tahara Sevaka Nitya Nitai Pad Sada Kara As Nitai Charana Satya The lotus feet of Lord Nityananda are not illusion they are a fact one who engages in the transcendental loving service of Nityananda is also transcendental always try to catch the lotus feet of Lord Nityananda so there are many like this Narottam Das Thakur another song he sings Vrajandra Nandana Ye Sachi Suta Haile Se Balarama Haile Nitai son of uh, Nanda Maharaj, King of Raj is Krishna he came as Sachi Suta Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Balaram he became Nitai Lord Nityananda Prabhu so these were some of the thoughts some of the uh, pastimes that I chose to share I know there are lots more um, maybe someone else you want to share something some experience you had a dream of Lord Nityananda or something like that <laughs> otherwise I think we can end here and we can use the day okay Sachitanoi Prabhu <coughs> It is mentioned also that Krishna, to teach the world, he always surrounds himself with pure devotees. Yes. So, Lord Nityananda obviously is one of the prime devotees, the supreme Paramahansa. He comes. So, one time there was a, a devotee who came to see Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda. And this particular devotee, he offered his obeisances first to Lord Nityananda and Lord Chaitanya was not pleased with that mm. he said first you offer your offenses to him and then to, to me so that shows that you know many people sometimes comes and they want to come directly to see Krishna yes. you know everybody get out of the way I'm going to see Krishna yes. which obviously it is good but in the Vaishnava tradition we first the devotee or Krishna yes. then Krishna and uh, we also from the Chaitanya Charitamrita we see the pastimes of Raghunadas Goswami mm -hmm. when he was trying to escape and going all the time yes. running away okay. from his family and uh, at one time he went to see Lord Nityananda Prabhu and it's, we got a lot of uh, uh, how do you say um, you can say realizations also how is it that 
Lord Chaitanya arranged all this, or Krishna himself. First you go to my devotee. So he went there, and then even Lord Nityananda, he says, pay your obeisances to all the devotees, so you can get the, the mercy of Lord Chaitanya yeah. Mahaprabhu. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one. And uh, Lord Chandas Thakur, mm -hmm. in one of his songs, he says, Nitai guna mani amar. Nitai guna amin amar. Nitai guna mai amar. He says, Lord, Chita, Lord Nityananda is the jewel of all qualities. He has so many qualities. And he's praying to the Lord of Spirit, Lord Nityananda. And he's glorifying in many beautiful words how Lord Nityananda, he said that the seal, the, the love of God was sealed very tight. Yes. But Lord Nithai comes and broke the channel and the love of God is flowing now. But yes. he was the one who did that. He reminded me of one point I will share and then Sat, Satinara and Prabhu. So in this song actually there is uh, this couple of lines. Premier Premier Vanya Loya Nithai Aila I don't know how the meter goes. Premier Vanya Loya Nitai Aila Goda Deshe Dubi La Bhakta Gan Dina Hina Vase. So, what he is saying is bringing this overwhelming deluge of Prema when he returned to Bengal from Jagannath Puri on Lord Chaitanya's order, Nitai has inundated the assembly of devotees. The fallen known devotees did not drown, however, but remained floating on that ecstatic ocean. So he's saying, even fallen people, the devotees, they drowned in the ocean of love of God. But even fallen people, they were floating on it. So it's not bad. Gradually they can drown in it. <laughs> so. The point is like there are many people they are just floating but they have the opportunity to drown. How does the opportunity come? He says that also. Um, here. Lord Nityananda freely offered this exalted prema which is difficult for Lord Brahma to attain, even to the fallen and wretched souls who did not desire it. So how one can get it? By desiring. One just has to desire. I mean, how simple is that? We desire so many things. But uh, generally people don't desire love of God. They desire so many other things. So um, by it is possible. Actually, one devotee, he, he shared one time that what Lord Nityananda would do, he would go to a person who has no desire and then he would put a desire in, in their heart and then he would give them love of God, love of Krishna. Uh, Hare, so, Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu. You asked if, we, uh, if anyone had an experience. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I used to live in uh, Mayapur for uh, some years, and uh, Prabhupada started this uh, boat, Sankirtan, the Nitai Padakamalam boat. We would sail from Mayapur uh, down to the Sundarbans, uh, which is where the tigers are uh, south of Calcutta where it opens into the Bay of Bengal. <clears throat> and, um, and we would always leave in the hurricane season, which is just after Gaur Purnima. Mm -hmm. It's the hurricane season. So I was the Pajari on the boat, and I was dressing uh, Gaur Nitai. So um, there's parts of the Ganges that are so wide, you cannot even see the shores when you're traveling down toward past Kolkata. Mm -hmm. So that was happening and then suddenly um, a 
black strip appeared on the horizon, which uh, is a very scary thing because that means a hurricane is coming. Uh -huh. And so the, uh, very quickly it came over us and I was uh, behind the curtain and it suddenly got uh, extremely dark and the temperature dropped about 20 degrees very quickly mm -hmm. and we were just sitting there. Uh, normally we are, it's called tacking when you go one side to the other, mm -hmm. but there was no wind and then it hit and uh, the wind was so strong that we started to almost surf on the wave, the waves. Uh -huh. And I'm trying to dress Gornitai. So I'm like, you know, uh, <laughs> trying to find the jewelry. And so uh, the I looked was shaky. back. Huh? The boat was shaky. Very much, yes. I mean, it was going down so far that the water was almost coming in the portholes. So um, I leaned back to get a, a necklace for Lord Nityananda Prabhu and I turned around and he was gone. <laughs> yes, what I was thinking, where is he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and uh, he had flown out the curtains and landed in a brahmachari's lap, mm. you know because it was moving so yeah. violently. Yes. And I'm thinking, oh my God, you know, it, it's, he just like flew out. And, and, um, and then the, uh, the only way to stop the boat from capsizing is, you know, in Bengal, they have the knives that you cut the subji on. Yes. So the, uh, we actually had Muslim, uh, um, boatmen, they're called Majis. Mm -hmm. And so one of them very intelligently, he, he, they couldn't undo the knot of the sail. So the sail was up pulling us down as oh. we were like surfing. And so he broke the knife off, put it in his teeth and started climbing up the mast. And then he hit the rope and the rope loosened and broke. And then the, uh, you know, the sail just went limp and we were just, so we were saved. Mm -hmm. But it was very shocked, shocking um, for me and, and Lutton flew out and then um, <laughs> for, certainly for the brahmachari. You almost probably had a heart attack or something. Yes. So uh, Bhavananda was the captain of, of the boat at that time. We would actually go up and down the Ganges um, to the villages and they would give rice and mangoes to the deities. Mm -hmm. So uh, we were very concerned about that we committed some great offense to Nityananda Prabhu. So uh, Bhavananda, when we went back uh, to Mayapur, he approached Prabhupada and he said, Prabhupada, we had a, uh, a, a dangerous situation that happened with one of the deities. And Prabhupada was very grave and he said, oh, which, which deity? And uh, he said, well, Prabhupada, it was Nityananda Prabhu. Mm -hmm. And Prabhupada went, oh, Nityananda Prabhu. <laughs> He's a very controversial character. <laughs> so there was, there was such, um, I mean, it was like such relief. But then we realized the extent of Nityananda, he wanted to fly out the, who's going to stop him? That's true. He wanted to make an exciting, you know, event. So you had said that it was Lord Nityananda is an avidut and he's so remarkable. The deity is really there. He's really there. So, um, I, I, I just wanted to share that and, and Prabhupada's Mercy was especially seemed to be there for these uh, moving, it was like movement within the movement. When you were actually uh, preaching from a bus or from a boat, 
he got very excited. So his, he was very merciful. So Prabhupada was also carrying the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu. Because yes. it was a very strange event and we should have had a better way to hold the deities on it. But Prabhupada was very merciful. Yeah. So Nityananda Prabhu Ki Jai! Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai! Hare Krishna. Sachitanoi Prabhu has one more. Maharaj, you want to say something? You first came and then... No, no, please go ahead. I was just reflecting as I was hearing Prabhu speak and from the first purport that you read, uh -huh. uh, how through uh, service, through disciplic succession, that um, through the Guru Prampara, then uh, devotees are able to achieve that which um, even the Lord was not able to achieve. And uh, of course, Srila Prabhupada is such a, a stellar example of that. But then uh, also just thinking how much preaching now is going on in the languages of the Middle East um, and things that have occurred now um, you know, since Srila Prabhupada's apparent departure. And I even um, have so many devotees who have distributed so many books. Brihupati was celebrated as like a million books. You know, so these are all accomplishments which surpass, one can say, um, the spiritual master, but actually is entirely in the service of that. And I was just thinking, how wonderful, just even in this assembly, we can see the fulfillment of that purport. But, yeah. yeah. Thank you. So when the Prabhu was mentioning about the deities, he said, the deities are there, means like the lords are not just stone. Mm. So something came to my, I have a personal experience of this. It wasn't a dream, but it's really, really, really a big teaching for me. So I was dressing Gorani Thai. This is long, long time ago. Uh -huh. And the small deities, Gorani Thai. And I will come and I, I'm not very good and I'm very clumsy in doing things. So I will bump into the deities like this accidentally. I, say, I was not very careful. So I will just try to. You are pretty them. organized on Sankirtan <laughs> though. <laughs> and then I will bump into the, and I notice, oh my God, I like, made a made big mistake. And then the next day, maybe, maybe three times happens. So one night, one day, uh, in a dream, I, I was late for my service. So I was running to do my service. So I came and I sit right in front of the altar to be ready to dress the deities, the lords, Goranitai. And suddenly, Lord Nishingadev came behind like that. He says, don't even think about it. <laughs> and I go, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Don't even think about it. It's like, because, you know, I, I didn't always bump into them. I will always, you know, like almost to one point is like bumping, almost to fall, fall. So I was very scared. And uh, believe it or not, but since then I haven't gone back to dress the deities. <laughs> but, uh, well, he, he had uh, another service for you. Probably yeah. that's why. But they're not just uh, statues, there's not Thank just you. a stone, <laughs> but the lords are there present. Yeah. And also to, not just in that, but also how to deal with the devotees of the Lord. Yes. You know, how to deal with the devotees of the Lord, especially when we live in a community. So many exchanges, we have to be very careful, not just bump into them. You know, like do something like inappropriate. Yeah. So we have to always be very, very, very attentive. Thank you, yeah. Okay, we can end here. I'm sure there is more coming later in the day. So, Sri Nityananda Prabhu Ki Jai, Nityananda Appearance Day Ki Jai, Nityananda Prabhupada Ki Jai, Krishna Balaram Ki Jai, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai.